This is SIBN Atlanta. And now, to the studios with Marcus Sewell. Thank you so much for joining us at SIBN Atlanta here where we're always broadcasting live and on demand your news, what's going on in your community because at the end of the day, it's all about community. Can you feel it? And that man is still oh, right here. It's in the air. Oh, it's game time. Get up, stand up. Oh, one, let's go. Well, thank you so much for bringing this event to Rockdale County. Yes, and thank you for uh, being a part of this as well. We're really excited about the movement of the MAN event and its impact that it will have on the community, not just with youth, but also with men and creating synergy between the two so that a discussion can be had and growth can um, occur. We're going to win. We're going straight to the top. Can't be defeated and you know it can't be stopped We came to win and won't lead till we done Take it Hey listen, we're back here we're with two of the fun. facilitators uh, of this event, the MAN event uh, First give everybody your name uh, Javel Lewis and I'm Shockey Parker well, Talk a little bit about the MAN event and what it means to you Well, to me, the MAN event is just promoting manhood with our youth today giving them um, the confidence and the self-esteem that they need to be their own man stand on their own two feet and be accountable for their decisions well, first of all we what, we what we're trying to do with the man event is that we're trying to eliminate the disconnect um, in society when it comes to uh, with our men you understand that there's a there's a huge huge disconnect between the older generation of men and the younger generation of men and we're not communicating and that's leaving our young men feeling very very marginalized in society so my question to you when it comes to dealing with success is what steps or what protocols are you willing to take to get there because in our reality I, I, I would love 10 million dollars but if I don't have a plan for 10 million dollars I'm bringing every every problem imaginable and seen and unseen to my doorstep if I had that. If I had the lotto tonight, you understand? And I tell people this all the time. Saving our boys means saving our men, it means producing men, but it also means saving our community. I'm committed to doing that. I'm from public housing. I'm from the project. I'm from the hood. I spent 15 years of my life in law enforcement. I understand it from both sides of the fence. I get it. Uh, this is so important. This is a great opportunity and wonderful experience here. Information and education about what's real and what's going to help young men survive in the days ahead. You're going to have to stand on your square. And you're going to have to stand on your square by, by, by creating a level of respect for yourself. So let me ask you guys this question. As it relates to making decisions and being comfortable with the decisions that you make as young men, are you leaders or followers? And why? When we're going straight to the top, can't be defeated and you know can't be stopped. Talk a little bit about that partnership and what you hope it will bring, the components it will bring to communities like Rockdale County. Sure. So what we're looking to do, again, Extreme Overflow Enterprises, we do publishing, and we are the publisher of the book Soulgasm for Men, which is what the MAN event is a spinoff of. And so we're looking to go into communities partnering with um, leadership of all types, whether they are uh, community organizations and affiliations or government or whoever can help um, to get the word out and again create that um, just close the gaps that we have in society as it relates to what manhood is but listen as we go to some other interviews talk a little bit to someone who may be watching and they may be raising a young man without any positive male input communication is the key you know understanding who the child is um, and and don't hold what the father has done against you, against the child. So uh, allowing that child to be, if the child wants to be a pilot, if the child says, if the son says, mom, I want to play baseball instead of football, you know, create different opportunities that will expose them because not every young boy is the same. There's no manual as much as there are so many different books. There should have been a, there should have been a manual. Though. Yeah, it should have. And we have several grandmothers who would have written that manual. 
So, um, but we, you know, it's just more of keep an open line of communication. And what I tell moms is that um, the moment that he stops seeing you as a, as a mother, there's the problem. Let's say, for instance, if you're at Home Depot and you just happen, you, you, you've been dating her for three weeks or whatever, and he knows about you and you know about him and you've seen him at Home Depot. Is he there? No, she's not there. It's just you and him. Would you make, would you make a consortium effort to go speak to that man? <laughs> no, I'm looking at me like that. <laughs> and why not? Um, I mean, uh, if she wants, like, if I feel like that I want to be with her or whatever. No, you're already with her. You've been dating her for three weeks. He knows that you've been dating her for three weeks. He knows what I look like. He knows, he knows you. He knows, he knows you. And, and, he sees you at, and he sees you at home. Yeah. Let me take this step further. As her dad, he's expecting you to approach her. He's not going to say nothing. No. No, he's expecting you to stay in his dog. Yes. Yeah, stay in yours. I'll try to like have a joking conversation with you. Okay. Okay. That's a good approach. You, sir. I get that in talking over her first. I mean, no one knows her father. And uh, she, she did. So, I mean, she ready. And I would. Because, I mean, you could be ready. Like, yeah, I would meet your father. But she's not. We're gonna win. We're going straight to the top. Let's, let's talk about. Uh, real quick, the authors are the authors that came to you yes. and decided to want to partner with you. Absolutely. How did you decide whether or not that would be a good partnership? Well, I think it was more of a collaboration. These authors, I actually know them personally. And so it was a project that I said, you know what, it would be great to put all of what you guys have together. Mm. You know, very similar to a fist. When you have your fingers and they all have their different functionalities, but when you make that fist, it's extremely more powerful. So that's exactly what they did when they came together with this project. Um, it took a while to write, but we're so proud and excited for their contribution and the feedback that we've gotten so far. So many people, men and women, have shared that they enjoyed the story and could relate to it and have been spreading the word. So well, listen, I want you guys to stay tuned. We'll have a couple more interviews coming up. If you're looking for information on the next forum for the men, who should they contact? I want them to call my office directly. Don't call reacting parents, single moms. I want you to be proactive. You didn't get a chance to come out to this particular event. Call Patty at 770-278-7012. Tell her that you want to meet with Commissioner Nesbitt. Get on my schedule. Get on my calendar. So we'll figure out a way to make sure that you're informed. And we send you out an email and alert you to the next opportunity that we're going to do the man form here in Rockley County, the man event. Hey, the man event. Some more is coming at you. You're watching SIB in Atlanta. Thank you so very much. We'll be right back after this. SIB in Atlanta. Broadcasting your events, highlights, and so much more. Live and on demand, in real time, worldwide, online, at www.sibnatlanta.com. And feel free to join us because every story that SIBN television and radio covers is not free. Join us at www.wesupportselectusa.tv. Now let's get back to the newscast. Here with some of the participants of the MAN event. And uh, state your name, your school, and uh, what brought you to the event. Um, my name is Dominic Ivy. I go to Heritage High School, and I thought it was a great opportunity to, you know, learn. To Appreciate you coming out, man. Heritage, shout out to all those at Heritage. Your name? Uh, Keontae Johnson. I also go to Heritage High School, and the event can do nothing but make you a better person. Okay, so talk a little bit. Uh, give me 30 seconds of what you thought this event meant to you as you're transitioning from, from boyhood to manhood. Um, it's talking a lot about choices and the choice of how the choices you can make can affect you and um, life and just growing up and being a man, uh, specifically an uh, African-American man, you know, and just uh, how you have to watch out and be aware of the situation and how it's not always, it's, it's okay to talk it out sometimes. It's okay to not let things escalate to a physical state. For sure, and, and you don't want to get a criminal record that will minimize your choices as an adult. Uh, same question to you. Uh, basically, you know, piggybacking off what he said, it's that a simple choice can affect the rest of your life. And it's not always about who's biggest and who's baddest. You know, a man doesn't always have to show it through physicality. So, you know, it's just teach you how to make the right decision and what decisions need to be made. And some stuff is not even worth paying attention to. 
and you guys like you got it you get it you get it thank you so much man shout out to heritage man and shout out to all those who are rolling with you come on in the frame there young man we got another young man this particular man event is off the premise of the book Soulgasm for Men. You want to get your copy. We'll have that information there on your screen. Uh, your your name and what school you represent? Um, my name is Ricky Franklin. And I'm from Indian Creek Middle School. Okay. Oh, you middle school? You look like a linebacker or something. You're middle school? Actually, I'm a lineman. Okay. All right. And what did you learn from this event today? Um, it's all about the choices. About you got to think about the um anyway each situation and about what you do in life and. And thinking is the challenge, though, don't you think? Because sometimes you don't know what to think because you can only think as far as you've been exposed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why you came, man. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. I want to shake your hand. Expect to see you again. Got one other young man here. How you doing, man? Walked up and shook my hand. All right, so your name and what school you represent? Uh, my name is Noel Payne. I go to Hedges. Uh, what did you learn from this event? There's a lot of events that's going on uh, in Atlanta, and you chose to come to this. Uh, what did you learn? I just learned that... Not everything has to have a reaction. Like, as he said, men, we don't go off emotion. We go off, you know, off instinct, what we know. So not everything has to be a conflict. You know, you can de-escalate things and make them better than what they have to be. Just make better decisions to make yourself. Because at the end of the day, you chose to do that, but you don't choose the consequence. This SIBN special report is brought to you in part by Select USA TV. Producing wholesome and positive digital content. Visit us at www.sibntelevision.com. You're watching SIBN Atlanta, covering your community news. Are you part of the authorship of the book that's on the table? Yes, we are two of the four authors that are on that that are that wrote that book and they they can reach us at uh extreme overflow Dot com. They can reach any one of the four authors at, at that website. Okay. Excellent book, uh, fiction book, correct? Uh, Soulgasm for Men. Talk just really 30 seconds, close it out with what the book is about. Well, Soulgasm is a comprisal of four authors, like JaVale was uh, saying earlier, from four different walks of life and four different age brackets, dealing with three different topics. Uh, those topics are... Are, are, are very, very instrumental and monumental in our society. And we really, really worked hard on trying to convey a level of positiveness when it comes to men. And, and, and it's just one of those things that, you know, everybody's going to get something different from it, I think. It's a must have. Uh, the information on how to attain that is on your screen. Listen, that's a wrap. Thank you so very much, guys. I know you guys got a lot of things to do. You've been watching SIB in Atlanta. My name is Mark and Celeste. Until next time, I'll see you on location or right here at the news desk.